Welcome to Electro Online. The next giant in astronomy definitely have to be Tycho Brahe. Now Tycho Brahe lived in Denmark and he was a very smart scientist, strong in mathematics, strong in scientific method, and he worked for the king of Denmark. Now he ended up living in a place that currently is, belongs to Sweden, but back then it was part of Denmark. And the king was so impressed with Tycho Brahe that he gave him a lot of money and with all the money they received from the king, he built himself an observatory. Of course, not in terms of what an observatory looks like today with a telescope. He didn't have a telescope, but he was able to very carefully measure the position of the planets using various methodologies, what his observatory was specially made for, that he could make such careful measurements, angle measurements for exactly where the planets were at any time during every night that he was able to observe them that he could take measurements almost as accurate to down to one minute of arc, to tremendous feet. And not only that, he very carefully logged those observations on a night after night basis for a period of about 20 years. So this is really a, a concept that is so revolutionary to science because even today many scientists make claims and come up with theories not necessarily based on many years of careful observations and, and experimentation, but simply because of their intuition and just throwing some things out, some ideas, without really having the data to support those ideas. Tycho Brahe wouldn't have any of that. He very carefully logged because he wanted to understand the true motion of the planets. Still, they couldn't understand exactly why the planets did what they did, why they were in certain positions, because the assumption always was that the planets revolved around the sun in circular motion. Now, of course, we know that's not the case, but it was assumed back then that the orbits were circular and the observations just didn't seem to match. And so he figured, if I make very careful observations over many years, he will be able to figure out that mystery of the orbits of the planets. It turns out he never did. But the data that he collected was invaluable because you'll see that someone else took over and used use that information to come up with really the understanding of the orbits of the planets. Now, it turns out that Tycho Brahe was probably not a very nice man to be with as far as he had a, hot, he had a very hot temper and he really could get in, in your face, so to speak, in today's terms. And it turned out back when not, uh, let's see, in about 1597 or so, towards the end of his lifespan, he really got into an argument with the king that was the new king of Denmark, and uh, the king wouldn't have any of it, and he said, you know, you're no longer welcome to work for me. And so Tycho went to greener pastures, and he found that he was accepted at the university in Vienna. He ended up going over there to do some work and some research in Vienna, starting in the late uh, 16th century. And there he took on a post of the chief astronomer for the court of, uh, uh, for the royal court of Austria. And then he worked for a few more years under that new post. Again, they gave him a lot of uh, money and he used that money to build a new observatory in Vienna. And he was able to utilize that new observatory for another year before he died in 1601. The thinking was that he spent so much time outside at night in the cold, summer or winter, that his health deteriorated because he used to get cold and probably bronchitis and pneumonia and so forth and eventually succumbed to his diseases and wasn't able to survive these, these cold life, this cold environment. So you can see that he only lived to be about 55 before he died. But what was interesting was in the last stages of his life, he ended up meeting with someone very famous named Kepler. And Kepler began to work for him and because of that, the association that they had, and even with Kepler, there was some falling out because they had, there were arguments and they couldn't agree on things, but eventually he patched up their differences and he started working with Kepler and he gave, and he felt that Kepler was a very smart individual and very, had very insightful and he started taking the data that he had collected over 20 years and Kepler started studying that, trying to make calculations, making sense out of it. And he began to trust Kepler and he gave more and more of his data to Kepler for him to work with. But again, the key to understanding was that careful observation over, tw over a period of 20 years and all that observation put down in notebooks and they could then be utilized for scientists after that. So that's the story of Tycho Brahe. And again, the power of observation, the power of taking data and making sense out of observations rather than just out of intuition is what got us that much further in our understanding of astronomy due to Tycho Brahe.